Exxon designed gray box, or a version thereof, is another tool used for checking and testing electronic instruments and loops. It is powered by a 45 volt battery and is not intrinsically safe. A switch turns on the 45 volt power supply and starts the red light flashing. The light flashes continuously when the power is on. Accuracy and maximum current capability are determined by the quality and range of the meter used. This one has a 1% accuracy meter. The instrument serves as a milliammeter when connections are made to these terminals. Only the meter is in the circuit. It serves as a current source when connections are made to the 0 to 45 volt terminals. Or as a variable load resistor by connecting to the DP cell simulator terminals. A transmitter may be powered and calibration checked by connecting to the 45 volt source and reading the transmitter output on the meter. We will demonstrate the use as a current source by testing a 10 to 50 milliamp transducer for a control valve. Turn on the power and set the fine and coarse knobs all the way counterclockwise. These adjustments are near the 45 volt terminals. This is the zero volt adjustment. Observing polarity, connect the transducer to the zero to 45 volt terminals. The red terminals are positive. Turn the course adjustment clockwise to where the meter reads near 10 milliamps. Trim the output with the fine adjustment. Until the meter reads exactly 10 milliamps. The transducer output should be 3 PSIG. Using the coarse and fine adjustments, set the output to 50 milliamps. The transducer output should be 15 PSIG. By gradually changing the signal between 10 and 50 milliamps, The complete stroke of the control valve can be observed. Some other uses for the 0 to 45 volt terminals are for setting electronic alarm devices. And testing recorders and controllers. When used as a milliammeter, the meter is simply tied into the circuit by connecting to the meter terminals. The power must be off. Observe the same precautions as when using any milliammeter. Do not connect voltage to these terminals. It will damage the meter. When used as a DP cell simulator, the two loop signal wires are connected across these terminals. The test set power is off. This portion of the set is designed for testing the Foxborough DP cell loop, 
since the Foxboro transmitter acts as a variable load in the circuit. By varying the load, it can be determined if all the loop components, exclusive of the transmitter, are functioning properly. The milliammeter is in the circuit when using the variable load feature. The variable load is a coarse and fine resistor in series and can be used where applicable. Be sure to turn off the power switch when finished with the test set. This will preserve the battery. Now work exercise number three in your workbook. Other calibrators used in our plants are the Veritrack bench test set, the Foxboro Spec 200, and the Taylor 152S3. In general, these calibrators serve the same purpose as those we have studied. the Foxborough Spec 200 calibrator and the Taylor 152S3 are more elaborate, have a potentiometer section and are more complicated to use. We shall defer the detailed study of these instruments to the discretion of the local plants. The Taylor Precision Calibrator is divided into three sections. The Output Section, the Input Section, and the Potentiometer Section. The calibrator can be powered by internal batteries or by external AC. This switch selects the type of power and the output or input signal range. This switch selects whether the meter reads the output or the input signal. The calibrator has a feature that allows a selected high and low signal to be alternately used, for example, 4 and 20 milliamps. It also has a transmitter simulator section. When more accuracy is desired, the galvanometer is used as a null meter for either the input or output signals. The ambient operating temperature limits are determined by the wet type standard cell in the potentiometer section. The galvanometer is delicate and should be clamped when not in use. Read the instructions thoroughly before attempting to use the calibrator. While the Foxborough Spec 200 can be used for other instruments, it is designed chiefly for the Spec 200 systems. It can be powered by internal batteries or external AC. This is the potentiometer section. Readings for the degree of input or output signal measured are digital. This is the null system.
Be sure to read the instructions before using the meter.